In today's video, I'm going to be decorating both the weekly page and the daily pages in my fitness and wellness planner with another back to school theme. So stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Tracy and I am a girl with plants. So I am in my Go Getter Girl 5-in-1 planner. This is what I use to track everything fitness and everything wellness. Um, now this is month two of me tracking it in this particular planner. I had been using this planner for, um, my catch-all planner, which I still am. I'm using the three-in-one system, which is very, very similar. Um, this is the current week. I am currently filming this on Friday. This is what I had set up on camera. And then this is me filling in the week. You can see some days are definitely more full than others. <laughs> All right, and that brings us to this week, which is actually the 19th because this is an outdated planner. So um, as you can see, what I did last week is what I'm going to do this week is I'm going to put washi here to cover up the dates and then just add the date there. So yay. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to use Posh Academy. I just got this sticker book and this sticker book just released on Sunday the 9th. No, Sunday the 18th. <laughs> I am all messed up. Monday's the 19th. Okay. I need to get that straight before I redate it. But yes, this sticker book um, released on the 18th. So if you are interested, definitely check out my flip through video. I will have a link to this book down in the description box. Um, the Fall Allure sticker book also released and I have a flip through of that one as well. These are super cute sticker books. You like this one it has textbooks, but nothing else is super, super schoolish. I mean, I can just put this anywhere. Everything is fun, fun, fun. So what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Um, that's always the question, right? Oh, I can do letters. So I think what I am going to do is I'm going to use the same sticker book for both my weekly and my dailies. Whether or not I use the same exact set, I don't know yet. What I could do is I had mentioned during the flip through that these and those are very similar. So that gives me a lot of, a lot of stickers to work with. I think I'm gonna go back to this one. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna do this one. I don't know why. I just kind of want to do this one. So we're going to do this one. <laughs> All right, so this is paper, so I'll definitely work here, covering up the lines and stuff. Um, I do need to keep this sort of um, functional. The bottom row, not as much. This is where I kind of write symptoms or any other notes. This week, I did have um, some energy crashes and things like that. I noted, but it didn't take up more than one line, so it's fine. This is where I um, kind of meal plan, and this, oh, this is where I work out plan. This is where I meal plan. Have I stuck to either? No, I have been working out and I have been like, uh, I don't want to say I've been eating healthy, but I have been doing some of that. Um, I have been working out. I just haven't really stuck to the plan. And that's just because I've had, like I said, I've had some energy crash issues. I wonder if I could put this here. But I just worry that if I put it here... Whoa, didn't mean to do that. Could also... And I think what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna do something up here to kind of make that look a little less, <laughs> a little less stark, um, just because I guess it's supposed to go at the top of the page, but I feel like, figure like that's a decent way to cover up the date. We'll see how I feel about it at the end. It's just stickers. I have some undo if I need it. All right, so what do I want to do? Which one is gonna be the best way to maybe continue it? Yeah, that's not gonna work. All right, so I could probably cut. Let me try something. Let's do some sticker surgery here. This is all, it always makes me nervous, but it's fine. It's just stickers. Okay, if I can find, I have like a thousand scissors, 
but none of them seem to be anywhere that I need them. I know that, oh, here's, they're right here in my cup. I don't know why I couldn't see them. All right, so we'll start it. Ah, let me look at the other one. <laughs> Before I just start cutting, let's look at the other one and see. Okay, I think I have to do the other one. Let's put this on the side of my desk. I'll have to put that back on me. I have to put that back on the page because I think this one, if I'm going to cut it, it'll probably go a little bit better like that. Okay, <laughs> that's close enough. Okay, I can put this one back. Now these are darker colors. Cause I'm saying Live Love Posh does have some like days of the week stickers there's orange so we have these so if i do those what i'm thinking is it might make it look a little less stark but see that does look better now that there's like a solid i mean i could have done washi there i still could do washi there do we think I should do washi? I don't want to do, <laughs> but I don't want to do, um, it's like I can't do black. So let's try to do this. Let's see if I can get the dates off because maybe that will work a little bit better. Okay, that's fun. Okay, I do feel like this needs to come up though. This can't go all the way to the edge. It looks a little strange. It looks a little strange because I'm not bringing the washi over and I'm not bringing the washi over because it's kind of sandwiching the days of the week so I need it to end where the days of the week end okay but that looks pretty darn good okay I'm gonna do this side and then we'll get to maybe some function and then some more decorating all right so I went ahead and did take that over just because okay Alrighty, so I think that's it right now. I might end up using some of the bullet points. Alright, so I'm going to take a break from function to add some more stickers so I can pull in some more colors because I need to figure out what colors to pull in because I was like, I could probably, like there are some of these like tealish colors that I could pull in. Like that one works, but I don't know if it's going to be too dark um, for me when I write my workout. Or I could just use it to draw a box. We'll see. All right. But down here, there are two cars in this spread. I think there's a bigger one and a smaller one. Let's use the bigger one down here. There we go. And then we're going to go to the smaller set for everything else. Oh, the doggy. We got to use the doggy. I mean, the doggy's just as big as the car, but we got to use the dog. That would be kind of cute. I kind of want them at the top. Let's see how much we can, um, how much we can salvage. I don't want to have to cut his, like, <laughs> head off. You just can't tell until you put him down. Okay, so I can bring him down. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Okay, so we gotta keep him 
down there. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. Ooh, the hydrate. We got to put the hydrate, right? We'll put that like up here. I don't know why. I, I think I was going to do it over here, wasn't I? I don't know. I don't know why I cut it all off. It felt like I needed to, I guess. How much of this will I lose <laughs> is the question. A pretty good amount of it. I don't know if I want to lose that much of the bottle. I mean, it's not like it's a great, like, it's like, ooh, a sticker I don't want to lose. But still, it's hydrate. It's like something that's actually, like, fitness related in a way. All right, so we'll just do that because it's sort of like a priority. All right, so I can bring some pink in. I just don't know if I want to. Maybe I should swap these two. I don't know, I kind of like that there though. Okay, I'm gonna use one of the checklists that's in here. Let's use the gold. And I'm gonna put it here. This is where I jot down the groceries based on my meal. Based on my meal plan, this is where I put my grocery list. So I'm gonna do that. All right, let's go ahead and write down my meals for the week. I'm not gonna do breakfast meals because they're, they're just usually whatever I have on hand, so I'm good there. So I think for Monday, I'm going to do a smoothie and then I'm going to do a, I'm going to do shrimp, pesto, zoodles. That means I need to get a zucchini <laughs> and then I need to go to Trader Joe's to get some of their, they have, like, I'm not vegan, but I do try to limit my dairy and they do have this vegan pesto that's actually pretty good. So I'll do the same thing for Tuesday. Wednesday, I'm going to do a chicken Caesar for lunch. And then for dinner, I'm not sure yet. I'm going to do a chicken Caesar for Thursday too. And then I'll probably finish it off on Friday. Maybe I'll do tacos this week. That sounds good. That way I can at least do those those two days. Okay, so I've got the most part done. At least I got the early part of the week going good. All right, so now let's plan for my workouts. Okay actually a pretty decent match. All right, so Wednesday's gonna be a rest day because I'm actually gonna have a pretty active day in the office that day. So we'll make that a rest day. So Monday is going to be a lower. Tuesday is gonna be upper. Thursday is going to be probably, we'll say cardio. And then I'll put rowing under it. Friday is going to be full body. Saturday, I'm going to put Pilates. Sunday, I'm going to put cardio. And then foam roll. Do I have any good orange? Okay, and then these two days, I'm going to do a 20-minute stretch. 
And then here I'm gonna do foam roll. All right, so I'll just write out my list here. All right, so I wrote down my, so I'm pretty much done. This is, that's pretty much all I need to do as far as my planning goes. I do feel like I probably need to anchor it up here with this. Actually, I'm not done. I just thought about something that I have been ignoring because it's not on my goals list because I took it off because it's, it had been a really hot July and I did not do my outdoor walks, but you know what? It's been a pretty decent so far a few weeks and I can get some outdoor walks in. So I'm actually going to pick another color and then I'm gonna also do this, this, this and that. All right, so there we go. I'm gonna add a few more stickers, then we're gonna get to my priorities, and then I'm gonna go ahead and quickly decorate the daily pages. All right, so I did not repl I did not put up my stickers last time, so now I don't even know where my header stickers are. So I'm just gonna have to handwrite them because I don't know what I did with it. So always put things back after you use them. So we'll just say meal plan. We'll say workout plan. And then I'll write here symptoms. So these are all pre-planning. This is kind of just like a symptom tracker. And then I'm gonna put up here I think we'll just do a dot, a dot, a dot. So this week I wanna do three plus outdoor walks. I want to eat balanced dinners. You notice I'm not gonna say balanced meals. I need to focus on my dinners. Once I get there, I get, I've been actually okay with lunch and breakfast has been fine. Um, and then I'm going to say, I need to focus on drinking my water. So those are the three things I'm focusing on this week. All right, y'all. So now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to decorate the daily spreads. I'm going to speed this part up. Um, so yeah.
All right, guys, there we go. So as a recap, here is my weekly plan. So it's what I'm hoping to stick to for meal plans. This is guiding my grocery list. So that's kind of why I'm doing the meal planning. Yes, I need to eat balanced meals, but I really also need to figure out what to buy at the grocery store. And then this is my workout plan. This is mainly just set here. So that way I'm kind of making sure I have more balanced workouts throughout the week. However, if I'm really struggling on Tuesday and I'm not feeling like lifting weights, then I might do something simpler. I might throw in a Pilates workout, a bar workout, or maybe even a dance cardio workout. So I do go heavily off of feeling because I am one of those people that sometimes if I'm just not feeling it, then the alternative is to not work out. So I would rather switch up gears, do a more fun or light workout, um, and then save the other like heavy weight lifting for another day. So this is not set. None of this is set in stone. It's just to kind of give me a general idea. And then this is the spot where I will write any symptoms or any other notes that I need to write. Like if I start a new medication, if I was awake half the night, I might write that here just because even though I'll note it here too, sometimes I might jot it down here. I think I did that a few weeks ago. And then here's my Monday and Tuesday spread. Um, so yeah, I am kind of limited to where I can decorate, but I do have space here because I haven't been using the focus on me or intentions or habits. I've just been using the hourly section in these two boxes. Um, so that's pretty much where I limit all of my writing. Sometimes I go down in here if I have a lot to write, but I feel like I should have enough space so there we go. I did go heavy on the washi just because I wanted to add some color with not really taking up much space. And then this is pretty much, I had to use the same stickers. The dog was just so cute. So I went with the same stickers. I know, I know. I would love to have switched it up, but you know, they were just cute. So I'm like, why can't I have it on my weekly and my daily pages, right? Um, so then that's Wednesday, Thursday. Wednesday, I did put a few more stickers down here that went a little bit up on my hourly because I know I'm probably not going to do a weight training workout or anything like that on Wednesday, which would take up a lot more room. And then here we go. And then here's Friday and then the weekend. So Saturday and Sunday is split here. So for that, I use the smaller Apple Watch tracker stickers. All of these I created myself in Canva. And then I put the boxes up here because the Saturday and Sunday only goes from eight to nine. So I do my sleep up here because I pretty much wake up at 6, 6.30 like clockwork, unless it's one of those days where I'm having trouble and I'm waking up at 3.30 in the morning. But other than that, it's usually I'm waking up around 6, 6.30 and I like to pencil in the actual time, but because that's not here, I just write it here and then I can just start my other information down here. So there we go, guys. So again, I use Posh Academy from Live Love Posh. This sticker book is now available. You can use my discount code AGWP10 to save 10%. And I will have this linked down in the description box. And don't forget, Autumn Allure also released. Um, I do have flip throughs of both sticker books on my um, YouTube channel, as well as on my Instagram. So uh, definitely uh, check those out if you want to see what these sticker books look like, but they are both super, super cute. You can see just how fun this is. I'm not in school. I don't have any kids, but that doesn't mean I can't do a back to school spread. I think it's really, really fun in my planner. So why not? All right, guys, <laughs> there we go. Thank you so much for pressing that play button today. I really, really do appreciate it. And if you enjoyed this video, please press that like button. And if you have yet to subscribe, I also hope you will consider subscribing. That is all I have for now. I hope you have a good rest of your day, evening, or night. Until next time, bye.